This is Mobile Network Comparison. Today we're going to be looking at a replacement keyboard app called SwiftKey. It's very popular and once you've installed it from the Play Store, simply go ahead and run the app, hit accept here, and you're ready to get started. So your first step is to choose the language you're going to use. We're obviously going to use English today and then it will just download the language pack. You need to be connected to the internet of course and you can enable SwiftKey. So it will take you through to the Android input and keyboard settings. Here you can choose SwiftKey, um, select it and you're almost ready to get started. So you just hit the back key and then move on to step 3 and that's setting it to be the default as opposed to whatever keyboard you were using previously. Um, the fourth step is the SwiftKey Cloud. We're going to skip this for now because we're not going to use it. And SwiftKey Flow is a swipe style input method where you just drag from letter to letter rather than making discrete taps. So now we've got everything sorted and set up. Um, we're going to ignore the personalization and other settings for the time being and just get started using the keyboard. So this is what SwiftKey looks like, um, pretty standard in general and I'm just going to start using it to show you how it works. It's going to be a bit awkward because I'm holding the phone at a weird angle but hopefully you'll see how it predicts words that you're going to use and this can really speed up um, your typing speed by using SwiftKey. So here it's correcting my mistakes as I go along and it's quite intelligent in that it will quite often come up with the word I actually want to use next and you can see how you can actually type much much quicker in fact almost as fast as I can type on a real physical keyboard so we've also got um, various numbers and symbols they're quite intelligently laid out to make it easy to use and punctuation is as simple as holding down one of the letters or going to that symbols menu I showed you earlier so just to demonstrate again how you can bring up numbers and symbols from the main keyboard without having to go through to the symbols menu you can just hold down long press a key and choose options such as a question mark like I've just used here and I'll actually just go back again and show you the symbols menu so here's the various symbols you can type directly and here's how they appear on the keyboard without having to go to that you just hold it and long press it and the appropriate symbol which is in the top right hand corner will be inserted into the text box. So let's now take a look at some of the slightly more advanced options SwiftKey gives you. Just swipe down and go to the um, input settings menu. You can also go straight through to the Android settings menu and then if we hit the settings buttons for, for SwiftKey um, we're presented with all these different options. One of the most useful ones is um, toggling flow which we'll look at a bit later and the advanced menu has loads of great stuff so a particular favorite of mine is the quick period which means it automatically inserts a full stop and also the behavior of the spacebar auto completion so now I'm going to show you how these two options work in practice so what we can do is we can just start typing away again it will auto suggest and auto correct as we type and when we get to the end of a sentence instead of having to actually press the full stop key what you can do is just do a double tap of the spacebar and it will insert a, a full stop followed by a space ready for you to start the next sentence and of course what it will do is it will automatically capitalize the new word after you have a full stop so let me just get to the end of this sentence and double tap spacebar and there's your full stop inserted and a capital letter for the next sentence so we can just carry on typing away and hopefully even though this is really awkward for me holding the phone at this angle you can hopefully see how fast I can actually type just by using these auto suggestions and with the really smart way it corrects your errors as you go so here's the um, swiping method or the flow method of inputting so I'm just dragging my finger across spelling out words and I'm sorry my hands in the way a little bit here of the screen but hopefully you can see that even though I'm really quite inaccurate with my swipes it's actually always every single time getting the exact word I'm looking for which is great and really fast if you prefer this method so it's quite hard to show you how much better this really is compared to the stock Android keyboard without actually having you try it out for yourself but just for an example I'm gonna show you the visual differences by switching back to the default 
um, Android keyboard. See what that looks like. So it's not that dissimilar. Um, keys maybe not as aesthetically pleasing. It still has suggestions, but it only has suggestions after you start typing. And in my experience, at least, they're nowhere near as useful, nowhere near as accurate. And in fact, the actual um, typing accuracy is much, much worse as well with the default keyboard. And quite often, you have to be a lot more precise because it won't guess the right word automatically. So let's switch it back again um, and then have a look at some of the other options. Another great feature that I use quite often is the ability to automatically have accented characters on the keyboard as additional symbols and it works just like adding symbols you have to hold down a key and it pops up so for example if I hold down O I get all the various accents for O and I can choose an O with a circumflex on it to write a word such as roll for example um, so let's try some other words which have got accents in them so I'm going to try jalapeno and here in fact as I type it, it's actually going to suggest jalapeno with the tilde on the end for me automatically, which is great. Um, another word I could try, let's try a different sort of accent. So an acute accent on saute. Simply just hold down the E and then drag across to the E acute accent. And the same if I was writing another word with an accent in it. So let's try um, facade. So I'm just going to type in facade, F. A and then hold down the C and I get the nice Cedillo on my C there to write facade with all the correct diacritical marks. So this is really great. Um, it makes life much simpler and much easier and it's kind of reminiscent of how you used to do it on old T9 phones. So finally let's see some of the other options that you have available and related to the accents SwiftKey um, has support for multiple languages simultaneously. In fact, you can have three languages installed at once. So I'm just going to install German now and see how the use of that is affected and see how it works with SwiftKey. So let's just clear the whole text and see if we can start typing in German and see how the prediction and how the autocorrection that SwiftKey has works. So let's just type a really simple sentence, something um, pretty familiar. Ich bin ein Berliner. And so, as you can see, as I'm typing, it's automatically suggesting sensible German words that fit um, along with what I'm writing. And I can type this again, and it's actually starting to do really good autocorrections as well. And in fact, what's great about this is I don't have to switch backwards and forwards between languages. So here you can see it's automatically picked up that I'm now typing in English. And it's giving me English suggestions now rather than the German suggestions it was giving me earlier. So you can seamlessly switch backwards and forwards, which is really great, especially if you quite frequently find yourself texting or communicating or emailing to other people in different languages. So finally, I'm just going to show you some of the amazing statistics that SwiftKey has. So these statistics are built into SwiftKey and it shows you that I've become 35% more efficient since I installed it and I've in fact saved 60,000 almost keystrokes, it's corrected thousands and thousands of typos for me, predicted lots of words successfully and completed automatically lots of words successfully for me. And now finally, this is one of my favourite features, it's the typing heat map which shows you where exactly your um, taps, your key presses are coming in on the keyboard. So you can see that for letters like O and P, I'm a little less accurate than, for example, G and H. But luckily, SwiftKey intelligently and automatically accounts for that and corrects for that on the fly. So thanks for watching. This has just been a quick overview of SwiftKey. Um, I'll put the Play Store link in the description below. Please let us know your opinions, whether you've used it, what your favourite keyboard is for Android, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.